Um, we, we just made this film as a practice to do a feature. So I, I was working with, a, with the, the same team that will be working on my feature. So this one was supposed to be just a practice shoot for me. And then I even forgot that I submitted to Critic Suite. That weird. So when I actually got the, the acceptance letter, um, it feels very surreal. Actually, up until now, even this interview, like you're talking to me right now, it doesn't feel real. But uh, I'm not so choosy. I, 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 I like it. I'm excited. I mean, like being selected here is, is a big thing, especially like we got to notice like a few weeks ago, we were the only Asian entry in competition for shorts. So it's a big deal for me. Uh, the film, Joe De Lift, the La Cruz Employee of the Month, is um, basically about this uh, girl who's always an employee of the month in this rundown gas station. So basically, his, her world revolves around this gas station. But with this particular night, this, the gas station would actually close. So it's also a case of how people tend to, to live their life in, in the case of unemployment in my country. So what does this girl do during this night? What does she do in terms of decision making? Because th basically it revolves around but she doesn't have anything to do anymore. Um, I wanted it very stark in contrast and blue because there's this contrast in how decisions are made and even like the, the blueness tends to veer away from the usual films that get seen in, in, in my region, which is Southeast Asia. So I wanted the, the film to have this very toned down blue, but very stark in terms of how these characters actually act and react. Um, are they very aggressive? Are they very passive? Or are they both passive and aggressive? Um, the, the whole palette of the film is actually blue, green, um, um, gray. But if you actually see the final one, I also, there's also a contrast because a lot of reds are also used, which, is, which, which tends to be shocking with the eye and even with the audience if you actually see. So basically, you see something cool that's very nice to the eye and then it shocks you. With the dreamlike effect, I think it just went on when we actually finished the film because like this is like real people living in real life but this is just their world. They're, these are small stories, but bigger than the city that they're living in. These are big stories that people don't tend to actually focus on. But these are people that have stories to tell. Um, my inspiration tends to come from middle class workers, from people that you don't tend to see stories from. Because like, if you see movies, okay, this, uh, I, I, I'll make a film about this, I'll make a film about. I, I make a film about people that you don't make a film about. My past few short films, I have been working with non-actors actually. So in a way, this is very different for me. Um, working with an actress who's very well known. She has been to Cannes for like two films already. So it was a pressure on my side and but the thing is with, with the films that she actually she actually acts on it's very different. It's it's an, another side of the spectrum. She usually does drama, the usual classical um, stuff. So when it, my intention was to get someone who's very into this kind of acting so that when she actually goes on set and reads the script and acts on it, there's this certain um, realness in the awkwardness of this character. We, we were actually talking like after the film and it got selected. We had this small conversation with the actress and I was like, she was all, she kept asking me, why did you actually chose me? And said like, because like, um, she chose, I, I chose you because, because I know you're a great actress, but at the same time, I know you haven't done this kind of film. So the authenticity lives by. Um, I'm actually developing a fe feature film for almost four years now. Um, after actually after Cannes, I'm I'm attending the Torino Film Lab for it. I was also here last year for La Fabrique de Cinéma du Monde with the same project. It's it's about my it's about my hometown in in the Philippines in Tacloban. I was born and raised in Tacloban. I don't know if you heard. It's like the we had the strongest typhoon a few years back. I was I, I was there, so it's it's based on the stories of my friends, my family, and my experience when I was trying to find these loved ones that I have. Yeah.